Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin. Now that I have all of my home pretty much decorated for fall, we're gonna move out into the yard and get our yard prepared uh, for fall. Plant some mums, plant some fall foliage, and just try to get this yard in shape. So let me show you around the yard really quickly. We'll have a Halloween party and my husband's birthday party at the same time. So just trying to get the yard prepared. It's been 100 degrees. It's been triple digits here in Texas for the last couple of months. So my yard is taking a beating. So we're just gonna work in the yard today and let me show you around real fast. Okay, here's just a quick shot. Now there's a lot I've gotta get done. So today we're just gonna work on one flower bed. I'll show you that here in a second. Now this flower bed is pretty much full of all my perennials. So I really don't mess with this flower bed very much. I may put some pansies along the edge here, but I pretty much just kind of weed this a little bit and don't really plant any new stuff in here. And then you'll come across to this flower bed. Now I have made the mistake of planting some elephant ears. I just planted two, I think, and they have kind of taken over this flower bed. Bed. So this is the flower bed we're going to work on today. We're going to get everything pulled out, put some new soil in, and plant some fall foliage and some mums. Okay, now that we have our wheelbarrow ready, let's start digging up these elephant ears, weeds, anything else that we see in this left side of this flower bed and start filling it up. Um, if you know anything about elephant ears, the roots kind of stay right below the surface, but they have like these little tentacle things, I don't know how to describe it, and that little sucker can go anywhere because not too long ago, a couple of those have kind of gone in front of the fireplace and over to the right flower bed and has started growing elephant ears there, and I took care of that quickly because I did not want any other I did not want any elephant ears in that flower bed to the right so but anyway as you can see here they're just taking over they were a lot more over here but um, this triple degree weather has kind of killed off some of them and guys you know it's hot when uh, elephant ears are dying because them suckers are hard to kill so okay so all I'm gonna do here is just uh, again pull up all of the elephant ears they're pretty easy to pull up um, and any weeds that are in this flower bed, we're going to get it good and weeded to get it ready for our new mums and our new fall foliage that we're going to pick up probably from Home, De Home Depot. We may go over to Lowe's also, but um, we are going to go pick up some new plants for this fall flower bed. And friends, look who came over to hang out with me today. So, so sweet. I got out in the yard about seven this morning. It was nice and cool that you can't see it here, but the wind was blowing just a little bit. I think it was about 60 degrees, which is wonderful for Texas. And so it was bittersweet for me to come over and hang out with me because normally, um, if you've been here before and have seen my outside videos, you know that normally Drake's laying around somewhere and Ziggy's laying around somewhere and I would have all three of these dogs. Um, but since they both that since Drake and Ziggy have both passed away over this last year, it has been really hard getting out here and doing these things that I would normally do with surrounded by dogs. So I was very happy that Remy came over today and spent the day with me. You'll see here in a second, his mama stops to come and get him and he doesn't want to go home. So, <laughs> so sweet. But anyway, so we're just continuing to pull out these weeds. It really wasn't bad. Like I said, it's pretty easy to pull up those elephant ears because the roots are just, just a little bit above the, um, below the ground, not, a, not very deep at all. So it wasn't really that hard, but let me tell you, it was hard on this old body the next day. I was really feeling it the next day when I got out of bed. So I've got to remind myself that I can't spend hours outside in the flower bed anymore like I used to.
Okay, so now that I've pretty much got all of the um, elephant ears and any weeds that are in here, I'm just kind of digging up the soil because, like I said earlier, those elephant ears have lots of those little tentacles. And if you don't get all of those out of your flower bed, they're going to continue to grow back. So I wanted all of those um, elephant ears gone. So I took the time to kind of dig around in this um, soil and get all the extra tentacles that were in here from the uh, elephant ears. Now, I'm calling those tentacles. That's probably not the right name. Somebody correct me if that's not the right name name but that's all that I know it by okay so we'll get our bricks put back and that'll be all we're gonna do here and then we're gonna head out and do some shopping okay here we're at Home Depot I did go to Lowe's first but Lowe's was so crowded in their garden section that I didn't do any filming there but here I was the only person at the flower center at Home Depot so I tried to get some footage for you guys and I tried to just look for some fall foliage something that looked really good in my flower bed I really loved this plum colored grass and this plant here are some of my favorite plants to pick up for my fall flower beds and y'all the prices here were unbelievable oh my goodness like this thing is $39.99 oh my gosh now I loved that plant that's in there whatever that plant is called right there some of you could probably tell me I loved that if that just had that plant um, without it being in that big old bucket, I would have bought that. But I was not going to buy that for $40. Oh my goodness. Um, even to me, the mums are kind of expensive. These big mums. Now these were only $6.98. So these were our smaller mums. So I went ahead and picked up some of those. And I picked up a couple of these potato vines. But gosh, y'all, they were $5.98. Normally they're like $2. So they were a little bit more expensive also. Okay, I think I pretty much have all that I'm going to need. So let's check out and head back home. Okay, we're back home. I ran inside, put my outdoor clothes back on, and let's start unloading the truck real quickly. Okay, here's what I got. I got a bag of pot and soil. I've got a flat of those plants back there. I'll show you the names as I'm putting them in the ground or in my flower pots. I got a couple of those to go in the flower bed. I got four of these deep burgundy mums that are just beautiful. I thought, well, I did deep burgundy inside the house. I should do it outside the house. I got this sweet little whiskey barrel. So, so cute. I got this beautiful big mum to put by the front door. So, so pretty. Love those colors. And then I got a couple of, I think these are called Lantana. These so remind me of my Granny Yates' house. They were growing everywhere at her home. I got a couple of those for the flower bed. I got some, um, I got some potato plants. I love this deep burgundy. I'm going to put those in my pot by the front door. Whoops. So I got a couple of those. And then I got, I tried to find petunias, but I couldn't really find any. I love the color of these. So I got all they had left, and I think it was just one, two, three. There was just three. I wish they had more. So I'm probably going to put those in pots also. And then this is going to go by a pot. I cannot say this name, but anyway, I'll show you a little thing of it. I got a little baby one to go in a pot, and then I got one, two, three to go in the flower bed. 
And then I got this pretty little pumpkin. So, so pretty. I thought it went well with the color of my mums. And then a couple of lots to go in my flower beds. A couple of LED lots to go in my flower beds. So that's all the decorations I got. So, Okay, so let's get busy working on the flower beds real fast. Okay, here's kind of what I'm thinking. I know I want these two big bushes here over, one in that corner and then one down here in that corner. Um, so I'll try to put the big plants, kind of even them out, and then I'm gonna kind of work in those little small ones in between the big ones. I might not use this many plants. Once I start putting these things in the ground, it might change, but here's what I have for now. Friends, with each new video I've been posting, we're getting closer and closer to our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Oh my goodness, I've gotten so many new friends over the past couple of weeks, and if you happen to be one of them, I am so, so glad that you're here. And if you've noticed, probably that my last three or four videos have just been decorating videos for fall, but also know I'm also someone that loves to work out in my yard. My Granny Horton and her two sisters, they had the biggest green thumbs, and they just taught me so much about flower beds and and gardening. I just love getting my hands dirty and being outside. So anytime the weather permits, I am outside in my flower beds, on the front porch, on my back deck. I absolutely love it. So let me know in the comment section if you're also someone that loves getting your hands dirty and working in the yard. So as you saw, these had two plants in each little bucket. So I separated the little root ball and made two, four, six plants. And so I've got those all around the back wall. So now let's put something down the middle of it. Now maybe our mums. We'll go those next. We'll do those next.
Okay, now that my mums are planted and my lantana is planted on the left and the right of the flower bed, let's take these pretty little plants that I bought a flat of and uh, let's put those all around the front of the flower bed and see what that's going to look like. Now, let me tell you, I had a budget of like $100 to do this flower bed. Um, and when I got to Lowe's and got to Home Depot and started seeing the process, I'm like, oh goodness, uh, I may go over just a little bit. I have not bought plants um, at Lowe's or Home Depot since springtime. And I feel like even the plant prices have gone up just like groceries. So uh, again, I spent a little bit. I spent about $110 on this flower bed. Um, but I think the outcome of it is going to be so, so pretty. So now I need to save up some money for plants for the for the other flower bed because I wanted to put some pansies there so I won't have to put as many in the other flower bed so it won't cost me near the amount that it costs for this flower bed but just wanted to prepare you in case you're ready to plant your fall flower beds to save a little extra money before you go shopping for your plants Okay, I think this is probably going to be my final result here. Let me show you the names of the plants real fast in case you want some for yourself. Okay, these little small ones I have there in the front. This is the name of them. It'll focus. Okay, and that's all around the front there. Okay, and then the plants are in the back. I think those are so, so pretty for fall. Here is the name of those. Okay. okay, then the plants that remind me of my Granny Yates' house, which is that one, and this one down here, that one, these are called Lantana, and they need full sun, thank goodness, because this is what this flower bed gets, full sun. Okay, let's see. Okay, and then my really big plants that go there, that corner, and then in this corner, here's the name of those. A purple fountain grass. Okay, so I think that's the names of all the plants. And of course, this, those middle ones are mums. But those are pretty much all the plants that I have here in the flower beds. So let's get these uh, little stones swept off real fast. And let's get some water in this flower bed. Let's water them down really well. I know you probably can't tell what I'm doing right here, but I have a little bird bath over in that corner in that other flower bed. And so I'm just filling it up with water. I pretty much have to fill up this every day or every other day. But let me tell you, it's so worth it to see those sweet little birds playing in that water. Okay, now that the flower beds are good and watered um, and the water hose is put up, my bird bath is full of water. Let's put in my new LED lights. These are going to be so pretty at night time.
Okay, friends, so here's my final look. I really like it. Can't wait for all of my mums to actually bloom. How pretty will that be? But I think the colors go really well together. Can't wait for this to start growing and kind of filling in the flower beds. I know that'll take a few weeks. I will come and fertilize probably this weekend. But so far, here's what I have. I think it looks really good. We will do the other flower bed. Let me show you this one. I need to weed this one. Um, this little plant right here is pretty much taken over. This plant back there. I love it. I call it my Chandra plant because my good friend Chandra gave it to me when it was about a wee tall. Just very, very little. And it's grown so big over the years. Probably been about 10 years ago. And then here's where I really need to get in here and do a little weeding. So we'll do that in another video. Not today. But so far, guys, I'm liking the one flower bed that I got done. Okay, so all I might get done in today's video is just that one flower bed. I'm not real sure. This is a Thursday, so maybe Saturday morning I can get out here and do the front porch. And I may make this into one big video, or I may make it into two. I'm not real sure. But anyway, I'm glad to get the, I'm so glad to have gotten the flower bed done today. Okay, friends, if you happen to be new today, I would love it if you would leave me a comment in the comment section, maybe your name, or where you're from. I'd love to hear from you. So sorry, there's someone with a chainsaw next door. But anyway, friends, thanks for staying to the end. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.